Hi everyone, this is Natalie and I'm going to show you a apron that I recently completed and uh, what I did was I was on Pinterest one day and found some inspiration for aprons and decided to see if that was something that I could pull off. I have so many laces and um, just in our hoard vault and my sister said, you know, we should start, you know, using some of these laces and um, so this is what we came up with. So I'll share with you what we did. Um, I took muslin, and that's the base for this project. I took muslin, and it's really affordable, and um, I got it while it's on sale. So this is the bottom of the um, apron, and this is just the trim at the bottom. These two pieces that you're looking at, this one and this one, are from Valances. So... If you ever see any Valances trims, you can certainly go and, um, you know, pick those up and you can just use them on your projects. So then the next piece of lace underneath or on top of that is some wide trim lace and I found this at a thrift store and I have boatloads of this. So, um, and you can see that in another video that um, I did of a lace haul that um, we did, I believe it was last year, sometime last year. And then this is a uh, trim from a dress that um, we took off, and it was layers and layers of these leaves, and it's just so pretty. But we took it off the dress and then decided to use it on our projects, and this is one of the ways that we used it on. This on top of here is actually pillowcase edging. Uh, back in the um, old days, they uh, sewed or crocheted trim um, for pillowcasings, and I'll kind of zoom in on it. It is crocheted. So it's very delicate, very light. And I cut it in half and decided that I was going to use it um, for these a this apron. And then up here is some of Beverly's trim that um, I just straight stitched across the top of it and t um, to the muslin. Behind, the mu behind this trim, behind this trim is also, um, and you can kind of see it, is this white flat piece of lace um, that we've had in our stash for a while. And so those are the layers of the lace and that actually is sewn onto the muslin backing. So um, now the backing of the muslin is raw. I'm not going to leave it like that. Um, I will um, sew on a piece of muslin on the back of that to um, cover all the stitching, the hand stitching that I did. Um, this is the focal point of the apron. And what it is, is it consists of doilies and things like that. And I recently shared a video about um, doilies and linens and things. And this is why, <laughs> one of the reasons why like, I'm so in love with doilies. And I every time me and my sister go shopping, my eye is just searching for doilies. And so I love to use them. And this is one of the reasons why. So um, the first thing that I sewed on was this um, cream colored uh, doily. And then on top of that or ne adjacent to that is this one. And I forget, I think I think I got this from Matea. Um, and so I sewed those two on the back. Um, and then on top of that, um, I did this one, which is a square piece. And, and these are actually, um, I think they were used as coasters. Because I did have one that is a um, has a circular stain on it. But if you look at it, and I'll try and get in here real close, it's got embroidery edges um, done to it, and it's really pretty. And I only stitched it around here and up there, so all the way across, or um, in this square shape. And I left this piece kind of frilly just to kind of give it some dimension and some flair. And then on top of that, I sewed this one. Now, I did share this in a... Um, this is the piece that I did cut off of one of the doilies that I did share in a um, in a recent video, and um, it wasn't a triangle piece. And this is the the triangle part of it. So it's this flower, this doily, and this one. Um, and I left it whole. I was going to cut them apart, but then I was like, no, I'll just use it as one. So then on top of that, um, I have this beaded trim that I also picked up. Um, we found this beaded trim 
it was a scrap piece um, from a thrift store and we paid three dollars for it so we're just using these um, cutting it apart and using them on our projects now um, I did sew this this is actually canvas um, if you go to Aaron Brothers um, they do have uh, canvas paper that you can print out um, use your printer to print out on and I just really loved the look of that I did sew a piece of tea dyed stained um, lace, uh, eyelet lace around that and then I did hand sew it to um, the muslin into the apron itself. So I really like that and the image we got from Magic Moonlight and she has ton of free uh, vintage images of ladies and kids and um, just everything that you can think of um, images and she um, she offers them for free so um, we decided that we were going to search her database for images and save some to our computer and use them for this reason so um, it's just another way to use her images and I love the way it looks and it the canvas is really durable so but what we did is it's called canvas paper and you print it out and then um, it says to wash it but we didn't wash it so we just um, just use it like that because we did actually test a piece that we followed the instructions and the the um, photo started to get like kind of like this if you can kind of see how it's faded here and not so much here it's it's really pigmented here and um, that's how it looked like when we washed it so we decided to just leave it alone and then there's another piece of um, another doily that um, is a smaller one that um, I believe our friend Matea um, gave to us and we decided to use it on this this um, apron so that is the um, apron let me pan up here I will have pictures up on our blog at heirloomanthology.blogspot.com and, and there's going to be probably a few um, postings of aprons because this is kind of like what we're into right now and we do have another event coming up here soon and uh, we will be having these um, at that event so thanks guys for watching and uh, check out our blog at heirloomanthology.blogspot.com and if you're into sewing or um, I hope that you guys try out um, this um, apron thing and uh, just grab inspiration from this and go with it. Now I did, like it shows all the stitching back here, I will put a piece of muslin in the back of that for um, so you won't see that those edges because that is the hand sewing, all that. So um, thanks guys for watching and try this technique out and have fun. Bye!